Hey you guys, here for another Android video. In this video, I want to share with you guys a new uh, release of the Yahoo Aviate Launcher. Yes, Yahoo Aviate Launcher. This used to be Aviate Launcher alone, and it used to be only available for in for invites only. Uh, but now it's publicly available at the Google Play Store, so anybody can go ahead and download it. And with that came a couple new features that it was implemented here. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys. Uh, new features because I've showed this um, launcher before and other videos as my one of my favorite launchers in the Android market uh, first of all let's go ahead here in the home screen like you see right now now I can't slide down to reveal a new menu a menu that used to be here every time you slide it down uh, either you were at home or at work or driving you could slide down and see a menu uh, now you can't they added this right here which is another panel right here which you will now see right here the picture of the day if you click right here you can see today's photo um, here you're gonna be able to see close right there um, now here you're gonna be able to put more widgets if you want uh, and another cool feature that they added here is that Yahoo, uh, Yahoo added the uh, news digest they integrated the new digest app with this um, Aviate Launcher, which is very good. Uh, and if you, for example, if you click on one of them, it will take you to the story there, like you see there, and you could go ahead and read the story, which is very, very awesome. I gotta say, the Yahoo D Digest is very good. If you haven't tried it, go ahead and try it. Uh, and from here, you could go ahead, like I said, you could go ahead and add widgets. Uh, you could go ahead and add, add app collection. App collections are this right here. This is an app collection. Like you see, I put entertainment right there. Uh, you can add that, or you could click right here and add, um, like you see there, you could add more widgets. I could go ahead and keep here, go clicking more and adding more widgets. Like you see right there. Very, very cool. That that part right there is a positive that you can now add more widgets than before on this app um here you can also with the picture of the day you can set it as your home screen image you click right there and boom like you see right there the home screen image will change but of course if you want to put your own picture you could go still go to your gallery and choose your own picture from anywhere that you have photos on of course here you can still put a widget like I do there this is my podcast widget is right there and everything else looks pretty much the same uh, they added this right here which is uh, like you see there it has the logo of the um, app draw that almost every um, skin Android skin has so they added that there so this right here is your collection still the same like you see here you could go ahead and, and um, have your apps in different categories and if you want to add a new collection you could just go ahead and hit here and for example if I want to click uh, traveling click there and automatically you can see all the apps that are traveling click right there so you could go ahead and delete if you want to delete this you could just go ahead and delete it um, over here in the app draw section like you see right there they made it completely black and this is carbon like it always has been but this right here this color right here is new uh, they made it completely black honestly i don't like it because it looks different from the home screen like you see right there for me it doesn't matches it should have been carbon just like it is throughout the launcher um, but one thing that i like here is that they added uh, the search feature it was not here before right now i could go ahead here like you see right there and search for my apps like you see there there you go i can search for my apps right there this is the yahoo digest app that has been integrated with the uh aviate launcher uh, another thing that you could do here if we click here to the side um this is new which is which says today right uh if you leave it there um this will automatically start changing when it when it when the sun goes down and the night comes uh, this will turn into a moon and it looks pretty good you know the animation that they added to the to that feature is pretty cool uh, one thing that i don't like i don't know what's going on it needs to be updated is that before when you play music for example if i played if i go here to my music google play music app and i play a music oh, yeah. lower down 
when I play music, it used to automatically change, you know, it used to change and now it doesn't. Like you see right here, it doesn't change to music, uh, which kind of sucks. You would have to go back over here and choose listening. And now you can see the uh, media feature right here. You can see the apps that are related to listening, uh, which these are the ones that I chose, right? Like running, when I choose, when I hear music, I usually go running. So I added those apps there. Uh, you can still add more apps if you want, but that for me is a very, very big negative. I, I hope it gets updated. The location features are not working for me. Uh, when I come from from work and get home, it, it doesn't change to home. When I go to work, it doesn't change to work. When I when I get in the car and start driving, it does not change to um, going somewhere. And when I'm listening to music, it does not change to listening. So for me, um, this update totally broke my uh, one of my favorite features of this launcher, which was um, the behavior changing and the location changing which was one of my favorite features here and for me after the update it has been broken but of course maybe at the time you see this video it has been fixed which i crossing my fingers i hope they do fix it because uh, look at this um i always keep my gps on and it's not it's not the gps guys it's not the gps uh you can still and change the, your theme to light or black you could go ahead and turn it to completely white if you want uh, you can still go here, head here, and change your um, icons. If you have icon packs, you can still do that. You go here, and you can see right here. Now my my icons looks rounded. This is the Tondo T O N D O um, pack. Almost forgot one of the new features that they added here is that if you slide up from the bottom, now you're gonna have access to your favorites. So now from here, I could go ahead and um, make um, text somebody. Well, you can see right there, I got Hangouts, or I could go ahead here and make a phone call. I can see you there, you have access to the dialer. That's very cool to have there. And of course, here you got your favorites. Here you got your recent calls, which is not bad. Very cool to have there. And if you want to add more, you would have to delete one, remove one from favorites, right? like you see right there, and go ahead and add another one there if you want, which is kind of cool. This feature, I kind of like it because for me, it's a lot easier, a lot faster to access my favorites instead of entering my to my dialer it's very cool i like this very very nice but you know like i said my location features and behavior features has been broken with the new release i hope it gets updated so guys this is it uh this was a refresher and update video of the aviate launcher which is now yahoo aviate launcher and is now released to the public so let's go ahead and try it and tell me do you like it or not till next time guys